Can you do that? You, you know you're streaming. Yeah. Yeah, so just yeah, streaming uh, Fallout. Yeah, yeah, I'm watching it right now. I just came here to remind you. Yeah. Alright, I'll be. Uh, I'll see you in a bit then. It's fine. Excuse me, Paladin Dance? What is this <laughs> shit? I found the remains of some Brotherhood soldiers. East of here, near Malden. What? It must be. Ah. Alright, let me fill you in. Over the years, the Brotherhood has sent several recruits in this combat. The last squad went in three years ago. They never reported back. Officially, they're missing, presumed dead. Was there a rescue mission? No. The Brotherhood doesn't have the resources or the manpower to conduct a search like that. Everyone who signs up for a recon mission knows the risks. Our lives depend on our training and on each other. But if a team is lost, we honor those who give their lives in the line of duty. We have a responsibility to find out what happened to them, if we can. Where should I begin? Their insertion point was in the hills near Malden. Survey the area, establish a search path. Where's Travis? Right, well, oh, here we go. Excuse me. Ready, Travis? I've cleared this place out already, mate. As they kidnapped him just recently, I'm sure that we have new occupants. I didn't know if anyone would come. I thought perhaps this is the end. Good job they put you against the wall. Thank you. Thank you. I was about to set fire you are to true friend. Are there more of them? 
Are they gonna come after you again? No, no. This was best they could do. You oh. got them. <laughs> These idiots had caps and cams just lying around. <laughs> they, they did not notice when I filled my pockets. You deserve what I took. I think he's still in there, guys, or do you think he'd just be at the radio station? Oh, he's here. Man, what a day, huh? Hey, listen. I wanted to say thanks. This has been... Well, it's been crazy. But I've learned a lot, I think. You came through it all pretty well, Travis. That's good to hear. Thanks. <laughs> After all this, I think about... The things that had me worried so much, and it just seems silly, you know? Like, was I really that worried about just being on the radio? That's nothing compared to being beaten up, shot at. I can do so much more. And I need to. Anyway, thanks again. I owe you. Oh. Are you here? Nick? Oh, God. It's really you. <laughs> well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday, death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Hey, happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here. I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but you deserve a reward. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. You're trying to find someone who's gone missing. The devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It, it was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. A lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. What else can you tell me? There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much. But I remember they called me the backup. So we're talking a small team. Professionals. The kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. Anything else you remember? My wife was... murdered. She was trying to keep them from taking Sean, and they... they just... It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. But they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. Anything else you remember? We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? And why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the gunners. And, of course, there's the Institute. So you think this Institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. 
Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal, and there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? The woman was dressed in, um, I think it was a kind of hazard suit. The man had some sort of metal brace on his arm. Maybe some kind of improvised armor? A lot of hired guns do that to look tough. The hazard suit is interesting. Not many mercs can afford something that fancy. What else do you remember about them? I'll never forget that voice. Low and rough. Like sandpaper across your face. Huh. Not much to go on, but a tough and commanding voice can get someone pretty far in the violence business. What else? One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Who is he? Do you think he has Sean? Hmm. It's way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned wet stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. You said he lives here? He's still in town? They both vanished a while back, if I'm remembering right. But that house is still there. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. I miss a lot of this run because of my live stuff going on, but I'm going to catch up over the weekend. Well, that along with you. Okay, I'll try and get the highlights up, Hippie. Bit behind, me. I'll try and get them up. Why doesn't the mayor come out of his office, huh? He's afraid of talking to the press? I bet if I said I was with the Institute, he'd come running. Do you ever think maybe you could get a man's attention easier if you used softer words, honey? Maybe ah, shots. yes. I remember. I'll remind you of an article I'm writing about the mayor's affair with a certain air-headed blonde. Mayor McDonough? What can I do for you? Oh, don't be shy. I'm the mayor. I'm here to serve the people. A man named Kellogg used to live in this city. I need to search his house. I see. Well, whatever reasons you have, I take my citizens' privacy very seriously. Even after they've left. I can't allow you to invade someone else's home. That's all there is to it. Please, Mayor McDonough. This man Kellogg kidnapped my son. I need to find him. I see. I'm sorry, right. but however horrible the crimes this Mr. Kellogg may have committed, your word alone isn't hard evidence. I understand you have rules. Maybe for the right amount, you can bend them a bit. What? How dare you? I'm the mayor, for God's sake, not some thug for hire. So that's it? You're not gonna help? Security is part of what keeps Diamond City above the petty squabbles and misfortunes of the Commonwealth. 
I can't betray that for anything. Fine. Thanks for nothing. I know it's disappointing, but I have to think of all the people of Diamond City, not just the needs of one person. Are you still at it? If McDonough won't give you the key, try his secretary, Geneva. She's not above taking a bribe. I come here to try and bribe you, my friend. I'm trying to track down a man named Kellogg. Interesting. That's the guy who bought the house in the abandoned West Stand. That is correct, Miss Piper. If you are done crowding the reception area, Miss Piper, the mayor needs to make time for more responsible citizens. <laughs> I was just leaving anyway. Did you need something else? Dear Lady Stell, hello and goodbye. Alright guys, I'm gonna go. Sorry, I could not stay for long. Just a bad headache and neither. Yeah man. Get your head down. Thanks for stopping by though, Stealth. Appreciate it, mate. Nice to say hello. Much as I like new cell phone today. Oh like really? Paradise. What one did you get, Juan? I'm a bit busy. I need to talk to someone about Kellogg's old house in the West Stands. Mr. Kellogg's residence? He left town a while ago. We foreclosed on the property and locked it up. If there was something belonging to the man that you have a claim on, you could ask the mayor to hear you out. No guarantees. Tried that. Come on. Can't you help me yourself? And if I could, why should I? Please. All I want to do is find my son. The man who owned that house kidnapped him. Well, you do seem like a sweet guy. All right. I'm just going to leave this key on my desk and forget I put it there. Okay. Your son's lucky he has a father. I will like you. just steal. You find him. Here we go. You ready? Steal. Hey, Geneva. Remember, you didn't get that key from me. Now, if you're actually interested in buying a house, we have a permit available. Well, let's hear about the permit. We have one home available. It's in the center of town, right near the market. You can do whatever you like with the interior, and all the tools you need to make your own furnishings are provided at no extra charge. 2,000 cash. Let me think it over. Take all the time you need. She helped me, and I want to help her. Got the key? All right, let's head in. You do the honors. Let's take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. Traps. But you probably left behind lots. seems small to you figured a guy like Kellogg would think big the secret door uh, nothing here Did you check out that desk ah. well that's one way to hide a Room. What are you on Kingsley Jet? My lots and lots of jet. What have we got in here? Well, look at this. All of a Merc's favorite things. Gwyneth Stout beer, 44 caliber bullets, and cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own. Though. Really liked his Nuka Cola, man. He was a cola fiend. Get hit in the head. I wonder if dog meat could pick up the scent. Say, that's not a bad idea. Some dogs out there in the Commonwealth can track a man for miles. Why don't you go fetch him and let him have a whiff? See if he picks up the trail. Uh, 
before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. Goodbye, Nick. Hopefully not forever. I want to see you and your kids safe and sound when yes. you get back. Yes. Hello, Good still fooling. Anytime you need help, just come knocking. Oh, oh, there he is. Wow, that was quick. Dog meat. Get the scent, boy. John is Jauncey. Take me to him, boy. Take me to Sean. That's another cigar. San Francisco Sunlights. Kellogg's preferred brand, all right. Okay, boy, let's track him. Here we go again. What's happening? Missing a cigar? Kellogg was here. Let's find something to track him down. Bloody bandages. Dog. We can track this. Hmm. What do you think, boy? Enough to go on? We gotta stick together, pal. At least until we find Kellogg. He likes his stout, this guy. He loves a bit of stout. Trail gone cold? Gotta find something at Kellogg's. Gwyneth Stout. One of his creature comforts. <laughs> hmm. What do you think, boy? Enough to go on? I had... I had one. I had a single shot burrata. Tracking known mercenary. What have we here? Exercise error. Extreme caution. System corrupt. I can't feel my legs. Oh. He's down. I think this is something that Kellogg must have killed. Just tell me where Kellogg went, Tin Can. Identity of assailant. Kellogg. Oh, they do. Oh, shooting in. Yo, psst, let's go. So awesome, guy. Have you? Pretty strong, man, that gun. Pretty strong. Definitely need a sight on this rifle. One still alive. He is. He lost a leg. He's just sitting there. Oh, I love it. Going down. Oh, down, down and away.
Hey, oh that's good. Must have picked some up. Came a long way. Let's hear it. You murdering, kidnapping psychopath. Give me my son. Give me Sean. Look at my character. No. Right to it then, huh? Okay. Fine. Your son Sean. Great kid. A little older than you may have expected. But I'm guessing you figured that out by now. But if you're hoping for a happy reunion, ain't gonna happen, pal. The boy's not here. God damn it, you mercenary motherfucker. <laughs> Where is my son? What's the cliche? So close, but yet so far away. That's sure. I wish I had mine. Don't worry. You'll die knowing he's safe and happy. A bit older than you expected, but ah well. At least he's in a loving home. The Institute. The Institute? Well, I'll find him. No matter where he is, <laughs> nothing will stop me. God, you're persistent. I give you credit. It's the way a father should act. The way I'd be acting if I was in your place, I like to think. Even if it is you, but I think thing. we've been sorry, talking guys. long enough. We both know how this has to end. So, you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Question is, are you? Oh, heap of drugs coming my way now. <laughs> wow. Only had two bullets in that gun. I should have checked that one out first, shouldn't I? Should I put on two? Oh, I'm going upstairs. That's good. that's a good thing. If I can't get out there.
as soft as I thought. Someone's got a stealth boy and they're right in front of me. Interesting. Here comes the big boy. Here comes the big boy. <clears throat> Say hello to my little friend. Have some of that. Come on, buddy. Oh, is that it? Is that all he's got? He's, he's no match for a drug thing. He's no match. I was expecting more Kellogg's cornflakes. I was ex Look at that. Blew his legs off. Absolute classic. Looks like they sent in the big guns. That ship. Look at my helmet. Like Amazing, isn't it? We call our ship Pridwin. <laughs> Look at my character. With enough troops and supplies to mount a major offensive. If she's here, Elder Maxie's here. And that means we're going to war. Who's Elder Maxon? Maxon is the commander of this division of the Brotherhood of Steel. He's the model of what every Brotherhood soldier hopes to become. If we're going to war, I can promise you that he'll be leading the charge. That being said, you're about to get to know the Pridwin up close and personal. I've received orders that we're both to report to her immediately. Follow me up to the <laughs> roof of the police station. We're going for a little ride. Do you see his helmet? Taking down the Institute should be easy. Now that Elder Maxon's calling the shots. It's all about we're going to kill them. It's going to be... Oh, I'm getting in. Nice. I'm just having second thoughts about joining this crew. That minigun in front of you is loaded and ready to fire. If you spot anything hostile during the flight, I suggest you put it to good use. Make sure you properly identify your targets before you start shooting. We don't want to have any mishaps and fire on the locals. Nice. Look at me. I'm going out on patrol with a brotherhood. This is awesome. Wow. There. I like it. Permission granted. Welcome back, Paladin. Allow me to be the first to congratulate you on a successful mission. And is this our new recruit? Yes, sir. I have field promoted him to initiate, and I'd like to sponsor his entry into our rankings personally. Yes, we've read your reports. You'll be pleased to know that Elder Maxon's approved your request and placed the recruit in your charge. Thank you, sir. And my current orders? You are to remain on the Pridman and await further instructions. Very good, sir. Ad Victorium, Captain. Ad Victorium, Paladin. 
Ad Victorium. So, you're the one Paladin Dance has taken under his wing. <laughs> you don't look much like a soldier to me. Looks can be deceiving. Which is precisely why I personally insist on scrutinizing every recruit who boards this vessel. <laughs> I've read Paladin Dance's the helmet. Reports. He seems to think you'll make a fine addition to the Brotherhood. You might expect an endorsement like that to grant you a great deal of latitude with us. But let me make one thing clear. The Brotherhood of Steel has traveled to the Commonwealth with a specific goal in mind. As the captain of this vessel, I won't allow anyone to jeopardize our mission, no matter how valuable they think they are. Understood? Absolutely. Good. That's all for now, soldier. Your orders are to proceed to the command deck for the address. After which, Elder Maxon wishes to have a word with you. If you have any questions, ask me now. Otherwise, you're dismissed. I went up there after saving and I killed everyone. <laughs> I was thinking of that with a minigun, but then I thought better not. Where can I get power armor? Only knights are allowed to wear Brotherhood power armor. And you're no knight. Not yet. Until Elder Maxon grants you that title, you'll have to make do with what you've got. Anything else? Can you tell me anything about Elder Maxon? Elder Maxon is the Supreme Commander of the Brotherhood. <laughs> Without his tenacity and his vision, we'd still be a small group of complacent stragglers occupying the Citadel and the Capital Wasteland. In a mere decade, he's grown the Brotherhood of Steel into a major military force. He's an inspiration to us all. Is there anything else? Um, where can I get a helmet? <laughs> what are my orders? I'm a Your desperate orders man. are to proceed to Elder Maxon's address, after which he wishes to speak with you. Anything else? I don't have any questions. Then I suggest you head over to the command deck immediately. Dismissed, Initiate. Must be never ending. Unless I guess there are communities, but there's no communities in the roads. It's just too bleak. Uh, it might be more Mad Maxi, I don't know. Brothers and sisters, the road behind has been long and fraught with difficulty. Each and every one of you has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the Commonwealth. You have accomplished this amazing feat without a hint of purpose or direction. And most impressively, without question. Now that the ship is in position, it is time to reveal our purpose and are beneath the Commonwealth, there is a cancer known as the Institute, a malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. They are experimenting with dangerous technologies that could prove to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent history. The Institute scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb they call their creation, the Synth. A robotic abomination of technology that is free-thinking and masquerades as a human being. This notion that a machine could be granted free will is not only offensive, but horribly dangerous. And like the atom, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I am not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. Therefore, the Institute and their Synths are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel and should be dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. This campaign will be costly and many lives will be lost. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy. Itself. Ad Victorium! Ad Victorium! Ad Victorium! No time to waste when there's work to be. I don't trust him. About <laughs> this guy, I just don't trust. I care about them, you know. The people of the Commonwealth. I can see that. They're playing with fire, and we need to save them. Exactly. I just hope we're here in time. 
I refuse to allow the mistakes of the past to be repeated. What do you want from me? I want you to start taking responsibility for this planet. To start making a difference. And from what I've read in Paladin Dance's reports, you've already begun that journey. Seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers, you couldn't get a better recommendation. Therefore, from this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight. Already? Wow. And, befitting your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you on the field of battle. Wear it with pride. I'll do my best to live up to it. I'm certain that you will. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Make us proud. How infuriating. I found some technical documents for you. These aren't technical documents. I don't have time for games, soldier. Come back when you've decided to take your duties more seriously. Quinlan? I'm very interested in seeing what sort of data our scribes will discover on these patrols. The Commonwealth is a very different place from home. Do you have any idea where I can find more of them? Offices, laboratories, military bases. Almost any pre-war location is a potential <laughs> treasure trove of technical information. I'd try searching desks, filing cabinets, safes, and anywhere else you suspect documents would be stored. Have you had any luck finding any yet? I'm still working on it. Good, good. My Hope helmet is terrible. Much longer. My helmet is a fashion disaster. Never mind. I gotta go. You do have a patrol to finish, after all. Excuse me, Elder Maxon. Now that you've familiarized yourself with the Pridwin's crew, are you ready for your next assignment, brother? What sort of assignment are we talking about? The kind of assignment where all of the training you've done finally begins to pay off. Let's get right to it, then. Shall we? Take a look over there. That's Fort Strong. And it's infested with super mutants. Having those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse, they're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat man shells we could use in our campaign. I want you to head over there, wipe out everything that moves, and secure that stockpile. Understood? Super mutants? I thought the enemy was the Institute. Super mutants are no better than sense. They're a reminder of man's folly when it comes to harnessing technology. Whether it's using biochemistry to manipulate genes, or trying to create life from a bunch of circuits. It's the wrong path for science. As members of the Brotherhood, it's our sworn duty to exterminate these abominations in every form. So, can I count on you to get the job done? Consider it done. Look, I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute, but it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. Now, we have a vertebrate on standby, fully armed and ready to depart. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong and wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the earth. Dismissed. Also, if...
Wow. Let me jump. Paladin dance. Look at this place. You must hate these mutants as much as I do. Why do you hate super mutants so much? Hate's too gentle a word. These monstrosities are just another example of man blindly taking a step forward only to wind up stumbling two steps back. I've been fighting for years, trying to put a stop to this madness. And just when I thought we were getting the upper hand, along come the synths. I've seen what these super mutants do to people. Can you imagine what the synths would do to us if they ever got the upper hand? It would be Armageddon repeated, and maybe the end of everything that we hold dear. <sighs> Look, I don't mean to bore you with my rhetoric. I just want you to understand how important these missions are. How could synths bring about our destruction? If the synths reached the point where they outnumbered mankind, how long would it take for them to decide we were no longer necessary? They certainly possess the capability to make more of their own kind, so we'd become expendable. And with Institute technology on their side, nothing could stop them, not even the Brotherhood. It's a nightmare scenario almost too terrible to contemplate. Anyway, that's enough of that. What's important here is that you got the job done and secured these warheads. You should head back up to the Pridwin and talk to Maxon. I'm sure he'll want to debrief you as soon as possible. Dismissed. Right, let's see what he's got to say. Outstanding work at Fort Strong, soldier. It was an honor fighting for the Brotherhood. I'm glad you feel that way. Because our mission here has only just begun. In order to bring the Institute to its knees, we need to use every weapon at our disposal. I try to supply my soldiers with the best. That's why I'm giving you these. Signal grenades can call a vertebird to your location when you need aerial transport. Simply throw one to the ground, and the vertebird will hone in on the unique electromagnetic smoke it emits. Once you're aboard, use the map on your pit boy to interface with the pilot's navigation system, so he'll be able to take you wherever you need. Wow. I've got fast travel after all. Wow, that's cool. Where can I get more signal grenades? I'd use the supply I gave you sparingly. These devices are far more complex than a standard smoke grenade. Should you need more, you should acquire them from Proctor Teagan. Thank you, Elder. I'll make good use of them. I expect that you will. Now, I'm sure you're aware that Fort Strong was simply the first step towards the liberation of the Commonwealth. An even greater task lies ahead. By now, I'm sure you've deduced that our arrival in the Commonwealth wasn't coincidental. We're here because of a unique energy reading recorded by Paladin Dance's recon team, according to our scribes. The reading indicated a level of technology that only the Institute could achieve. The moment this information came to light, our mission became clear. The Institute, and everyone responsible for the creation of the synths, must be eliminated at all costs. To accomplish this goal, we need to locate the Institute's headquarters. I've had our scribes meticulously searching the Commonwealth, They've come up in blah blah blah. <laughs> Where's that by mistake? Where do I start? I want you to get out there and become our eyes and ears on the ground. You seem to have a vested interest in locating the Institute before we met, so I'm confident you'll travel in the right circles. If you discover a way in, I need you to report it to me immediately. Any questions, Knight? suggestions where I should look next. All I can suggest is that you keep your eyes and ears open, Knight. We have every available scribe working on a way into the Institute. It's only a matter of time before a method presents itself. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the sailor? Early in the morning. Hooray! Up she rises. Hooray! Well, I don't like this layout. This is a death trap for me. You can shoot me from up above so easily. Oh, where's the front door? Where's the front door to this? 
for this abode. I just want to go in the normal way. I don't, want, I don't want to be too clever about it. I just want to find the front door. Hey, this is gonna be fun, motherfucker! Crap! I could be dead. Something, something's burning me from somewhere. Drugs. Need drugs. That guy's got a flamethrower. That's the problem we're facing here. Just sank out of a punch. A hole in this guy's skull. Think they got these guys? Need another buff out. Oh, come on, there's a robot right on me. I need instant health. Something that's going to give me instant health. What I need. Screw this, screw this. It's like a this is like Vietnam. A war zone. I'm going on there. Flames burn flesh. <laughs> it's kind of their thing. Man.
That was just mayhem. It's not over. I thought you said it was over. And they've got builders' hats on. I don't know whose side who. I don't know who's on my side and who's not. You know. That is a legendary gunner. Oh, he's just pumped his health right back up to normal. Oh, it's got a guy. to go stealth. I'm going to use this baby. James Bond style. Ding 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 ding. No, I don't need to run. I'm just going to I'm just going to down it all now. Oh, I must be I feel better, but I've still Who's there? Well, actually, I've got a, I've got a suppressor what? on this. Oh crap! She's got a flamethrower. She's tougher than I thought as well. Tougher than I thought she'd be. Take these guys down quick. I'm gonna be dead, dead, dead. I got my shotgun. These guys have got one shell. Kill him. You must be pretty strong to make it here. 
Bunch of raiders flinging fire. Not even a challenge. Most of them were never going to be worth forging in the first place. See, Jake? Here's someone who might actually be worth my time. Unlike you. But they're going to kill me. But I, I wish I saved it before I went through Stealing this door. things from your family farm doesn't prove your strength, boy. Though this wonderful sword you brought does put me in the mood. Oh, I've really got to go to it. One last chance to prove your worth. What do you say? Kill that prisoner and prove that you are go completely it. useless. You said we'd be raiding outside the Commonwealth. These people aren't even a threat to us. Prove to me that you can kill. It's him or you. He's like Negan. Oh God, what do I do? What do I do? Please let me go. What's it gonna be, Jake? Oh, I gotta go to the toilet, guys. Walk away, Jake. You don't have to do this. But if I don't, they'll kill me. What about your family? Is this what Abraham would want you to do? I thought he hated me. Did did he send you here to find me? Yes, he's stubborn. He wanted me to bring you back. You're right. I don't want to join the forge. I just want to go home. Last chance, Jake. If you don't kill the prisoner before I count to three, well, it's over. One. Help! Two. Three. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that kicked off quick. I was not ready for that. I'm going to sort out a window on my computer. Hey. Oh. Of these drugs going. This really is getting serious. Flames. Oh, 
Guys, why the crap? Let's do this. Ah. You're right, buddy. Bit hot. <laughs> Bit hot under the old collar. She's kebab, you have to shoot kebab. Sorry, I, I messed up. I panicked. <laughs> messed up, like. Always happy to help. I don't know what I was thinking trying to join them. Look, I, I should probably try to go home and make amends. I know I've got no right to ask. But I bet if you're there to explain, things with my dad would go easier. I bet if you bring my great-granddad's sword, he he'll make it worth your while. He always tries to deal fair with people. I'll wait for you by the overpass near the farm. <laughs> In pain! I know I screwed up pretty big. I, I thought if I joined up, I could keep them from raiding our farm. I didn't. I don't want to hurt anybody. I don't care what you thought. I told you. Abraham Francis Finch, that's enough. Mama, if... Shut up, Jake. If I hear anything out of either of you, you'll both be peeling potatoes for the next... Thank you, Saffron, for the follow, by the way. Thank you. Sorry I didn't notice. And also, Muddled Tripod. My stream labs went down, so thank you, both of you two. Stop treating him like a child. Thanks a lot for that. Your father and I have been out there, and we know it can be dangerous. Thank you, Saffron. Believe that you can do it. Because you can do it. You can do it. Give it a little touch. Give it a little push. Make love to the canvas. Make love to the canvas. Give it a little touch. Give it a little push. Push it. Push it. Push it. Push To help people. I just need to trade gear with you. Preston doing down there. A bit far from my own Preston. Hey man, I don't think we've met, but your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minutemen. We've met? This guy isn't Preston. Say what, man? <laughs> I know Preston Garvey. You aren't Preston Garvey. 
Oh shit. <laughs> Okay, guys, I'm going to head off now. Back on tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Take care. And um, have a good evening, whatever you get up to. I'll maybe see you tomorrow. See you guys.